side left, sidecar to the right of George Martin. Takes the shotgun snap, has time, dumps it off in the flat. It's White with the football into Flyers territory inside of the 45, trying to drive his way to the 40 before he's driven back, and his forward progress will be stalled at the 43. It will be first and 10, Easterling on the tackle for the Flyers. Trips left, one receiver to the short side right. Martin's in the shotgun with the sidecar to his right-hand side. He'll look left, now settles his feet, stepping forward. He showed some wheels last week. This time he'll carry it inside of the 35, still on his feet inside of the 30. Finally shoulder out of bounds inside of the 25 at the 23-yard line. And the drive continues as Easterling makes the tackle for the Flyers, but it's first and 10 for Robert Morris at the 23. You know, Martin right there doing a good job, keeping his eyes downfield, going through his progressions. Great job on the offensive line, creating that pocket right there, staying on their blocks. And Martin able to step up to the pocket, sidestep to the right, and actually show a little bit of acceleration right there. Receivers to either side. Martin stays in the offset pistol. He'll pull it out of the belly of A.J. Jackson and saunter into the end zone for a three-yard Colonials touchdown. Great, impressive first drive by the Colonials. I'm sure the coaches next to us are high-fiving each other. What a great script by them. Had an awesome game plan against this very aggressive and talented Dayton Flyers defense, and what a very impressive opening drive for this Rob Morris team. At Buffalo, the Colonials go three and out on their first offensive drive. Dayton with a receiver and a wing to the right-hand side, and Cook will look across the middle as he tries to find Skabinski in the end zone. It's broken up by a Colonials D-back in the end zone, and the pass is incomplete, and that brings up second and goal at the two. Yeah, Skabinski went first on a quick little in-play right there, and Troutman tried to break off that and go to the outside, and two Colonials follow Troutman out there, and then Cook getting pressure just sort of. As the lone setback is Profit. And the motion man comes on the jet sweep from left to right. Skabinski motion from right to left, settled at the left slot, took the end around, going back the other way and into the end zone he goes for a two-yard touchdown run for Dayton. A little bit of trickery right there. Did some shifting motion, like you said, to the left and then brought that motion guy back to the right on a quick jet sweep and untouched right there. Uh, Dayton able to seal that end. Easy play for Dayton, and then you were starting to question whether they Third and a dozen for Robert Morris, two receivers left. One to the short side right as Martin finds Gonzalez, and Gonzalez forced out of bounds inside of Flyers territory at the 44-yard line. And to add insult to injury for the Flyers, there's going to be a roughing the passer penalty going against the Dayton Flyers. Yeah, George Martin stood in there, Brian, and he looked to his right-hand side, found Gonzalez. He knew he was going to take some contact, but the defensive lineman who was coming in there put his helmet up under the chin of George Martin, and Martin got rocked on the play. Now Cook's going to step under center, putting Profit as the deep setback. Two receivers right, one receiver to the short side left. Ball's on the left hash. Cook, hands off. Profit running right. Finds a crease. Has a hole. He'll cross the uh, 45 out to the 49-yard line before he's finally brought down by Jacob White. And White a little slow to get Flyers with the ball, sending trips to the left, tight end to the right. Cook straight drop back. Looks for Troutman. Troutman has room, and he is hit hard as he catches the football inside of the 10 at the 7-yard line. Troutman got inside of Havon Price. Skabinski motions as Cook will hand off Profit finding some room, wiggling his way inside of the five, finally brought down at the one yard line, and it'll be third down in goal at the one as we begin quarter number two. So we finish the first quarter tied at seven all. It's Robert Morris football on ESPN Pittsburgh and the iHeartRadio at keyword RMU. Cook's gonna lower his shoulders, tries to drive his way into the end zone. It looks like a surge by the Colonials defensive line keeps Cook out, yeah, no signal yet by the officials of a touchdown. And it is oh. a TD. Cook down at the bottom of the pile with the ball in his hands inside of the end zone. Colonials first and 10, 50 yards away from pay dirt. Now, good job right there by Mundy. I just called his name, pulling from his right guard to the left. Does a great job. They have a first and 10 at the 50. Martin on the left hash, takes the shotgun snap, looks for Gonzalez. Gonzalez on the catch inside of the 30, inside of the 20, inside of the 15 to the far sideline to the 10, reaches for the pylon, and they will say he had the ball in his hands as he steps out of bounds around the five-yard line, and that's good news for Robert Morris because if he lost control of that ball yeah. on the way down, it bounced out of the back of the end zone, and it would have been a touchback, but the good news is he steps out of bounds at the five, and it's first and goal for RMU. Little square in right there from Gonzo. It's great to see him back and almost back to... 100% does a great job pulls away 
from Tim Simon, the, the free safety right there, was able to get to the right side of the field and boy, going for that pylon, like you said, Adam, thankfully he set that out because he tried to stretch and as he stretched, he lost control of that ball and that ball just went into the end zone. Would have been Dayton's ball. Left, tight end right. Cook's in the shotgun. They're going to run the option to the left-hand side. Cook feigns the pitch, and he'll get to the line of scrimmage before he is hammered and brought down. Buzz on the tackle for RMU as Troutman yo-yos his motion. And the straight drop back by Cook. Looks down the seam, and it is tipped oh. in, nearly intercepted by Havon Price. But it falls to the turf incomplete. One of the concerns they had was their kicking game coming to this uh, season, you know, having a true freshman kicker, and boy, I think that to the right of the formation, two of those players in the bunch are tight ends as the Colonials will pull the ball out of the belly of the tailback, and Gonzalez catches it in the flat from Martin. Gonzalez leaps over a flyer and will step out of bounds along the near sideline at the 41-yard line. What athleticism by Gonzalez. Great to see him back in the lineup and making an impact. Yeah, good play action pass right there. Martin coming, uh, at Gonzo actually coming underneath like a little counter, sneaks out of, out in the backfield into like a shallow flat, and Martin does a great job just floating that ball out there, but still putting it in front of him. Gonzo is able to of the field, and that's why they threw the flag. Colonial stack, three receivers in a tight end to the right of the formation as Martin in an empty set, throws it to that right-hand side where Deontay White catches the football, keeps his balance, takes it inside of the five and steps out of bounds at the three-yard line where it's first and goal for RMU. Different George Martin this week compared to last week. He looks on, he's stepping through his throws, following through and delivering great passes. Great job by White. Martin doing a great job, getting some pressure in his face. Step through that throw, deliver it. Martin coming on, uh, White actually coming uncovered, does a great job, plants that foot, tries to pick up enough to get into the end zone, but they'll take first and four, uh, first and goal at the three. Yards away from a tie ball game as Martin in the shotgun. Trips bunch to the left-hand side. Martin goes to the air again, and he finds a wide open Gonzalez in the end zone for a Robert Morris TD. How do you let Gonzalez sag underneath you like that? You know he's going to catch the football. Yeah, and when it's in the end zone, you're going to look for Gonzalez, whether he split out wide, it's a fade pattern, or cut it underneath. That's exactly what he did. It was a bunch formation to the left, and one receiver split short to the right-hand side. Cook takes the shotgun snap, feels pressure from Buzz as he rolls to his left-hand side, finds a receiver in the flat, catching that football is Kyle Butts, and Butts into Colonial's territory, sidestepping one blue jersey, and finally will be roped out of bounds at that far sideline inside of the Ugh. 35. One receiver split as a short slot to the right-hand side. They'll pitch it off to Profit, who runs to the left. He's getting strung out to that far sideline and will be brought down after a modest gain of three. A trio of Colonials were there. Buzz led the charge. And over on the near side right, Trips strung out to the left. Cook looks right, goes back left for Profit, and the pass is incomplete as Mason Gray wrapped up Profit and then knocked the ball down to the turf. Skabinski motions from right to left, and Cook will surge his way forward. He lost the football as he got through the line of scrimmage. The ball was stripped away, and the Colonials fall on top of the loose ball. No signal yet. Now they say it's Colonials football officially. Cook is the lone back. Cook takes the snap and has a wide open Troutman at the one, and he will walk into the end zone with nobody near him. Over the left shoulder of George Martin. And the handoff, Jackson cuts right, spins back to his left-hand side, inside of the 10, cuts it to the far boundary at the 5, dives to the pylon. Is he in? They'll say he is. It's a Colonials touchdown of 20 yards. A little bit of a delay handoff to Jackson, springs to the right, does a great job spinning away from the first defender, uses his speed to get rid of Rumkey. Rumkey is able to catch up to him, but Jackson using that strength that he has, undersides if you look at He got away with it. Two receivers stacked near the line of scrimmage on both sides, and Cook eludes pressure and dumps it off to uh, Skabinski, who leaps over one Colonial, eludes another, and in the end zone, he'll go for a Dayton touchdown, and the Flyers are back up by nine with a PAT up and coming. What an absolute backbreaker. They think on first down they got a big loss, and, the, and they only give up two yards in terms of where the ball is sparted. But again, Robert Moore is having a difficult time on these bootlegs. A bootleg to the right, Cook rolls out. Now there's someone in his face, but he's able to do a little pump fake and float that ball over the defender's arms. Kabinsky's out there wide open, wide open. There's no one out there. Then it turns into a pitch and catch, and he just uses his elusiveness to cut across the pursuit and dive into the end zone. Dayton being more physical, Robert Morris, they got to keep their cool, no silly penalties. Wing to the left, receivers to either side, and one of those receivers split to the left-hand side was Gonzalez. Who
Colonial split two receivers to either side. Side cut to the left-hand side of Martin is Jackson. Low snap, Martin brings it in. Finds Gonzalez cutting across the middle. He's got the first down and more inside of the 30, running down the near boundary, and he's undercut at around the 22-yard line, and it's first and 10 for Robert Morris. Great patience right there. I mean, if you're going to pick one guy to go to, it's going to be Matt Gonzalez. They do a great job of waiting for him. Good protection by the offensive line. Just seems like there's a little bit of confusion. There's a flag on yeah. the far sideline over there. I'm not sure what's going on, but Robert Morris seems to be clapping like his additional penalty against Dayton. Good snap is Martin. Straight drop back. Finds Gonzalez. He's got the first down at the five-yard line. Who do you go to on fourth and a half dozen? Why not Gonzalez again? Yeah, you go through your All-American, and how does he translate in the NFL? I mean, he's more of your H-back, traditional, maybe a physical fullback, maybe someone that you can line up just a little bit of everywhere. You know, probably a little bit undersized, but just a sure hand wide receiver tight end. Jackson stays in at tailback. Martin rolls to his right. Finds a colonial and into the end zone goes Eric Scherkel for the five yard touchdown catch. And boy, when you look at the replay, Adam, it might look like there was an errant snap by McAllister. Caught look, Martin, and everybody by surprise. And thankfully, Robert Moore is able to maybe convert that mistake into a touchdown. Now makes it interesting here. They're able to elude that mistake by the running back, able to pick up the first down on fourth and six, convert the next play to a touchdown. Now. On third down and two for the Flyers. Skabinski motions from right to left and then left to right again as the handoff Ooh. goes to Profit. Oh. He picks up a first down, but then gets tattooed by Mason Gray and the Colonials come out of there with the football. It'll be first and 10 for Robert Morris after Mason Gray continues to throw his body around. He made a big stop on special teams, made a big tackle, then a big stop there as he punches the ball loose. The Colonials will have it first and 10 at the Flyers 35. Profit meet Gray. Mason Gray waiting back there. Profit easily has the first down, but Mason Gray just sat back, sat back, sat back, and made the perfect tackle. Helmet on ball, they're gonna review it, but that ball clearly came out, whether he was down or not. But what a Tough loss for Robert Morris today. Your final score, 34 to 31. The Colonials fall to the Dayton Flyers.